Hey everyone, this is Matt, one of the owners here at Ember Coffee here in Big Lake, Minnesota. And you are likely watching this video because you received a card like this in your order, only yours was probably signed by somebody on our crew. On the back of it, you scan the QR code and it says, scan for tips on brewing and a video message from our roast master who, uh, well, that, that's me, here we are. First of all, I wanna thank you for choosing Ember Coffee. Thank you for choosing a small business, winner of Minnesota's best, and also a business that believes in doing more than just providing a, a, a cup of coffee. We're really seeking to do good in the world. And you can read more about that on our website. We have information on some of the blends that we offer, like this deliverance blend here, where we really seek to use the profits, a portion of the profits from the sale of our coffee to be able to fight human trafficking and to support organizations that serve the marginalized and the exploited, not only here in the US, but in countries like India and Ukraine uh, and so many more. You can read more about it on our website. But Keurig drinkers, I have a little bit of guidance for you. Maybe you found our coffee because of a Facebook ad. And in that ad, we talk about how our pods have uh, about 30% more coffee in them than your traditional conventional pods that you may find it at, at the big box stores, right? So our pods are different and I wanna cover some of the reasons how our pods are different and also explain to you how you may want to adjust the brewing methods on your Keurig machine in order to get just the, the perfect extraction ratio in your morning cup of Ember Coffee through a single serve pod. First of all, because our pods are packed with more coffee in them, 30% more, you may find that you need to adjust your brewing method, right? If you were to cut open a conventional pod in the store, you would notice that it's probably about halfway full. As a result, when people, people have developed a habit of brewing single serve pods in their Keurig, and what they'll do is they'll go on the settings and they'll put, let's say, um, an eight ounce glass, or they'll put, a, they'll put a 12 ounce glass in it, and they'll mark it as, they'll do a setting of super, super bold and robust, and they'll say, we want to brew a very small cup, a short shot essentially. As a result, what happens is the you, what those settings are trying to extract as much of the properties of that pod into your cup as possible. And with conventional pods, maybe that has worked for you in the past. When you go to brew an ember pod, you're going to want to sort of set that aside and just brew your first cup of Ember Coffee on the normal setting for your Keurig maker. So don't go robust, don't try to pull a short shot to make it stronger and, and produce a, a half decent cup of coffee out of a, a cheap pod like you've been doing. I want you to just use the normal setting. If you put a 12 ounce cup into the brewer, uh, or into your Keurig, um, use the 12 ounce setting, right? just brew it normally. What you're probably gonna find is that the extraction ratio is pretty close to amazing, right? First things first, do that. Second of all, you're probably gonna discover, as many of our customers do here in our coffee shop in Big Lake, and also customers who give us feedback online, you're probably gonna discover that our coffee doesn't bother your stomach. And that's partly due to our processing method, our roasting method, and it's also due to the quality of coffee that we're putting in. We're spending about two times as much on the green coffee that we put into your pod, much more than the conventional pod producers out there. So we're putting a very, very high quality roasted coffee in there. So you're gonna, you're gonna get a, a burst of flavor and aromas. The second thing is our methods uh, of air roasting, we use super hot air to roast our coffee as opposed to the conventional drum roaster. You're gonna find that our coffee is very smooth and balanced, but here's the kicker friends, has very low acidity. We have many customers who come in and say, wow, I thought that I had to give up coffee for good because it bothered my stomach. You may find as thousands of people have so far, is that when you drink our coffee, it doesn't bother your stomach. 
That's the beauty of specialty grade beans and the air roasted methods that we have. But anyway, just a few tips. And as always, I am here to help you. We have a pretty cool chat feature on our website. And at least for right now, if you reach out to us through there, it actually rings my phone. It sends a message to my phone. And I'm more than happy to work with you to make sure that all of the levels are set up correctly on your Keurig or your home brewer, a pour over coffee. We are creating a community of coffee lovers here throughout the US and connecting them with one another, connecting them with myself. Just feel free to reach out on the website. Feel free to ask your questions there. You may have purchased your coffee today through a just a single order. I want to encourage you, if you love the coffee, to sign up for a monthly subscription. We offer 10% uh, off, at least as of the recording of this video, we offer 10% off to all of our monthly subscribers. And then what we do is we send you special deals and updates throughout the month. So you may get access to a seasonal pod flavor earlier than everyone else. You hear about what's going on in the roastery and, and really our desire is to bring you along in this journey as we bring air roasted coffee throughout Minnesota and the rest of the US. So anyway, friends from our roastery here in Big Lake, Minnesota, I just wanna thank you for your order. Feel free to reach out to us with any questions and I hope you enjoy your cup of coffee. Thanks.